Hey everyone, it's Caesar117 here, and welcome to our Dragon's Dogma 2 stream. Today we're going to be focusing on character creation and storage. Let's craft our heroes and organize our inventory for the adventures ahead. Whether you're a pro or new to this game, there's something for everybody. Ready to dive in? Let's go. So today, definitely going to be trying out Dragon's Dogma on my YouTube and my Twitch. It seems to be I'm going to, as far as venturing into this hobby of um, streaming and uploading videos and entertainment, which I find very interesting as a form of entertainment now that it is pretty well flushed out with all the, you know, YouTube, making sure everything's legit, how they tie in everything. It's really, um, now that I'm diving into it, an interesting meld between social media and uh entertainment for example when making videos like i did this one here just having the intro and trying to create afflictions in my voice an ai algorithm is going to be looking at this video and studying the afflictions am i using the same intro in my videos do i have um, a title it ai looks at the video and sees if you are talented in the idea of production so that's that's what's really going on a lot of these people if you really want to get your algorithm up there you're going to have to follow the rules of entertainment i mean it even probably looks at color right my this scene to the scene prior to the scene prior it probably looks at those colors grades them on color gradients if you don't get your colors right guess what 20 views down yeah tinfoil hat wearing i don't care Go ahead, you can blame me on that. There's entertainment algorithms that are going on. And it's an awesome meld between social media algorithms and rating people on their entertainment talent. Um, if I were to upload a YouTube video, I'm gonna do one that has no cuts. And then I'm gonna do one that's pretty much like every other YouTube video out there. Where it's like, hey, I was at the store the other day. And then this lady came up to me and then they're like, this is what happened. And they're editing out the, all their like ums and uh, I was at the store. And then this lady, she like, uh, what was she doing? She, uh, she came up to me, she came up to me. And then that's where we get that edit. Just, I went to the store the other day, she, flash, she came up to me. <laughs> I love, I love how like we as like the audience became comfortable with like, uh, quick edits and like them skipping and jumping all over the place every two seconds. I love YouTube videos. They're edited edited by the amateurs and, and low rate amateur editors. And there's nothing wrong with that. When you hear the word amateur, a lot of people think, "Oh, you're trying to say that they're less." No, an amateur will kick all your guys' asses. An amateur, you'll look at their videos and you'll be like, "Dude, why does this video look better?" But editing in its basic nature is pretty, it's pretty simple. And what a lot of the YouTubers and what this is, it's very basic. It's the swipes, it's the pans, it's when you start noticing multiple camera angles, um, what I call tight zoom-ins. There's the zoom-in that I want to use, which will be coming soon to the stream where I'll hit a button and it'll come across my eye line. Um, that's going to be zoomed in with the way that my lens and my camera is already focaled up. So it might not be 100% clear on the eyes, but if I got another camera and I set that camera to close and had a really nice lens on it and I did the eye line and then I hit the button, it would go right to my eye line like anime style. It would be all like, yeah, and it'd be a lot better. <laughs> and you guys will be able to see that a little bit more. And then I'll have like the anime animation lines like the flash to make it feel like speeds going up Little tricks little tricks um, I got the prompter coming so that's gonna be an added plus to me keeping my eye line and Dialogue and stuff But I'm really excited for dragon's dogma 2. I'm really excited for the stream I'm really excited to try to make professional videos. I'm gonna have a playthrough section highlights clips shorts 
all themed the dragon's dogma. I got all the thumbnail pictures done for all the highlights, the clips, and the uh, gameplay. That way, every um, picture thumbnail that's on top of the video looks unique and different. I did it with white text and the classic uh, yellow. A lot of YouTubers and uh, people who want to grab viewers to click on their view, click on their um, videos, use a certain type of text font with um, colors. A lot of them choose different bubbly text. It's mostly bubble text with white and um, yellow. So I'm going to try white and yellow and see if I can go from 22 hits up into the 50s. <clears throat> um, I did all the descriptions, ran them through all chat AI. I got 22 titles and 22 descriptions that will be instantly every time I make a video or say we're done through a walkthrough day or a highlight day. Highlights will be a little bit more template-y because the highlight you want to specifically say what has been happening in the um, the clip, especially if like, it gets stomped by a dragon or something amazing happens. Um, then I'll be running that description after I do that. I have that template and then I fill in the template and I run that through chat GPT and then it'll fill out a new description for me that will match. Here's the key to getting clicks on your videos. Your description wording has to match the wording that's in your other videos. Sounds crazy, but it does. So you could tell chat GPT -T, chat GPT to write a sentence and then write that sentence 15 times with the same feel language and intensity that the other sentences have use those sentences across 15 videos and just the language alone the the feel and the tone of your sentences as long as they're all um, sequenced the videos will link to each other through an algorithm algorithm algorithmic <laughs> sequence that's running in the background looking for that stuff oh my god i said that wrong it's looking for it in the background and they'll sync the videos and and cast a web across your videos what you're trying to do you're trying to take all your videos is put up that's a good way of putting it and you're trying to create an interweb why does this video relate to this video this video is about dragon's dogma this one's about apple pie how do they relate these sentences and the words and the nouns and the way that he uses his words in here is caesar over here so that's how they are related not related in in title but related that this is a Caesar video. So if someone's watching a Caesar video out there, the fishing net now cast backwards, not only on Dragon's Dogma because they clicked on it, but cast across all my other Caesar uh, videos as well. Only because the text, not the content, not the titles, but because the descriptions themselves are interwebbing with themselves across their videos. And that's what I'm gonna test. So what I did, I used chat, G G T T chat GTP and I created descriptions for all my videos, <clears throat> titles for all my videos, scripts like the one that I read in the beginning of this, because when you start a video, the AI algorithm is looking for an intro, music, click, click, you get what I'm saying? Boom, 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 keeping that rhythmic uh, entertainment like a TV show, then the wording right off the bat that the first couple words that it actually hears it's going to probably grab the first 30 seconds and then be like okay because it's an ai it's gonna be like what, what the fuck is, what is he doing what is he doing oh it's going to try to define me he's talking about the day he's a he's doing his intro and as long as i get those tags um my videos should be more outreached for people who are like oh i like videos that have intros right anybody out there who just like logo on <coughs> logo intros i'll be tagged technically with them in the algorithm as long as I keep getting tagged that my videos have intros and logos. <sighs> I find this awesome. They literally took the rules that I learned in entertainment and intertwine them with the algorithms. That's it. It's really, I don't think as complicated as people think it is, but I'll be running those tests. And if the tests do good, I should get enough fake boosters because YouTube and Twitch, if you start doing those, you get a plus. 
so right now um, I'm really happy that all you guys if anybody out there is watching these videos but if you look at my video increase because I've been following these rules it's been going from 8 5 8 10 those are your normal guys out there that I'm you know and if all 22 to 28 of you are watching me thank you so much but I have a tinfoil hat thing that goes on that there's a plus 5 and a plus 10 booster to views for your account because you could do all this entertainment stuff you could get good algorithms but then there's the filter that's on top that allows you through certain walls for them to be like why should I put him on the page why should I slide him up so they're doing they give you booster views so but lately I've been getting I think plus fives and now I'm in the 20s to 28s so that's the eight of you out there that are watching I know there's like about eight maybe again really appreciate you seeing this from a third person <laughs> view of me doing streaming and just dissecting it as we're going through it while being a streamer while not trying to be a streamer <laughs> doing it as a hobby more than so um a, uh, from a streamer's point of a aspect like oh i want money i want clicks and stuff like that no i want those but the reason i want those is for testing purposes only not actually like ego and like oh yeah a career that would be fun oh yeah though 200 of you hey guys how's it going we're gonna do giveaways like that's fun don't get me wrong i'm not trying to be cynical but like with a lot of how i enjoy my hobbies i like to dissect what it is that you guys go through if there's any other streamers or youtubers out there or content creators maybe you could be watching me and be like oh i remember when i was in his position oh he's just discovering the the algorithms through the descriptions and stuff like that like he's just like whoa like if, if you're enjoying that that's that's what this is all about you to see from that perspective somebody um getting an open eye and view on it and just kind of experiencing it the next thing is is really doing a uh youtube video on um like uh what am I trying to say? Because this is this is Twitch. This is video gaming. This is gonna be uploading like walkthroughs, playthroughs. Um, I'm gonna have to do some edited video videos. That's what I'm gonna say. So like when you click on them, it's actually one of those like every couple seconds I'm cutting away and not just drowning on and on and on and on. It's more topic or topic oriented. Um, I think I might do Doom Imperium. I wanted to do one with uh, the board game Doom Imperium. And put one up on the channel in their category because that category is super super low but it has like a big audience so i was hoping that that audience we could probably nab like 50s or 60s so far i think my top is 78. Woo! not bad though oh man all right well that's my rant for the day my 20 minute a 20 minute hard opener God damn it all right let's get on with the dragons get on with the dragon for some reason it doesn't want to go full full view i gotta always reset it <clears throat> Cat -com. tell you what they're really getting their money out of it the oh there we go don't you lag my system Let's go over to the game. Let's see. You good? You back? We're not lagging so much. Jesus, holy! Don't try to load a game and go through like a OBS transition. All right, sound. We got. The lovely dragons dog number two. Oh, okay. Now we'll create a pawn later. I always create like a little uh a wizard. Let's do our main character. Oh nice, five slots. <coughs> Uh, yeah, 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 I know we're creating new. No, 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 no. 
race and body type. Cats! Always cats. Avatar, Elder Scrolls. What's with it, you people and the cat people? I love your furries. Alright, we're gonna just choose simple. I'm gonna go with this body type, that'd be good. Use the head. He's a child. All right, whatever. Back in Botswana, me and mom used to get them crawdads. <laughs> These two are friends. For sure, if I saw them and him together, I'd know exactly where they were from. Uh, I don't want to be Professor Snape. These people look like actors. Like, they, they scanned real actors' faces, and then, like, something altered them just slightly. That's what all these feel like. There's something, uh, there's something about each of these faces. It's just, like, a little too unique. Very well done, though. Alright. Alright, let's work the face here. What are, what are we dealing with? Face, head. That's not bad. That blended really well. That's pretty tight. Probably rework the ears a little bit. I feel like the ears are a little small. I wonder how he'll look with different hairdos, though. Sometimes it's about the hairdos because they look so wiggy. See what I'm saying? It's not a bad blend either. Holy schmoly. Get some sun. Get some sun. Take that back. Keep him out of the sun. He might. <laughs> You might go up like a matchstick. Yo, so how today's going? <laughs> Instant sunburn. All right, we're gonna go with that one. The classic scar. You must have some epic story. Nope, caught it on the door on the way out. <laughs> on, a, on a Tuesday. <laughs> oh. Yep. <laughs> Wish my story would be a lot more epic. Pointy chin? Pointy chin is... Show that I feel is like more, more like intelligence. Batter chin. Feels like... More like a caveman. Unless you do the brow. Like that's caveman. Me find banana. Me find the banana. And then I just throw the banana. <laughs> you didn't eat it? That's just average. That's like a mix. Am I smart? Or am I dumb? Hmm. Look into my eyes. Tell me who you are. Uh, I might go more evil. I like the brow. See how that puffs the shoulders? The shoulders kind of go with it. Alright, what are we doing here? I don't mind the height. Oh, 
shit. That's length. <laughs> we don't want to do that. I didn't think tuck him up. Oh, muscles. Okay. I don't want to mess with that too much. All right, upper body. Uh, torso width. Depth. That's probably what I wanted to shrink in. Easy. Some of this stuff is so slight. You gotta know. I like how they highlight it. Try to help you guys. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna tuck it in a little bit. Probably pump up that chest size a little bit. It's feats of strength. Is actually already weight, <clears throat> so if I add more muscle to him, he'll get fatter. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice. Different times of lighting. That's awesome. They went all out with this character creator. These are, these are going to be the lighting fields. Nice. Oh, wow. Let's go. That one's kind of flat. That's, that's like your midday daylight. Or your morning. This is your midday. Desert reflection of the orange. Use HR, HDR. And then this is your lighting. Uh, ray tracing from campfire. Let's go. That's pretty good. Full light. Alright. Good, good. Let's get a little bit more muscle there. Not too much. Probably half of what I did. Can I give him abs? He needs, he needs a, just a, like a light... Is it slight? Oh yeah, it is. It's real slight, huh? Yo, you can really do movement styles? Holy cow. Um... That's crazy. I guess I'll go more Witcher. That's more GTA Witcher. It's like the difference between like a couple different like game engines. It's almost weird. Like movement style is like, oh, what game engine do you like? Of like the speed of like which your characters like animations move at different particular speeds. Like what? It's like that feels to me more like Witcher. And then if I go, now we're playing like um, PS2 like Darksiders or something. You see it? It's all in the way like he puts his feet down. If you're a real gamer, you know. Like, this feels like more modern up in here. The way I would see the animation movement style. Like, that's more like a Nico GTA. The way his foot comes across so quick. That's awesome. Wow, they didn't have to do that. Jesus, the posture and everything. Give him a little bit of sway. Kick him way back. Oh, yeah. Put that chest out, boy. Talk with the chest. <laughs> That's not too bad. I like the chest fart. He's kind of like a guy who would do that. It's 50. You don't want to do too much because you don't know what you've done until you really put on the outfits. I'm not going to mess with that knee or elbow angle. That, that 
24. Wow. It's the knee angle. <laughs> no, if anything, the knee angle would have to come back. Because the way we're sticking out our chest. See how he, now he walks more upright? Go down to the 30s. That's too much again. 20. That's not too bad. That balances out that, that lean back. It doesn't look so, like, odd. Right there, it looks a little odd, though. Right. That angle. That looks odd. I'll take it, though. Interesting. Jeez. Ooh, I might like skin twelve. Skin twelve gives away gives away that gets rid of that like native look a little bit, brings him more into like the fant fantasy like knight ish look. I'm digging twelve. Thirty six didn't look bad either. Digging twelve. Yeah, I'm digging twelve. Thirty eight. Oh, <laughs> red. To Hollywood. What twenty four? Skin sheen, I can bring that down. Maybe we can go back to the Hollywood one. 14, you can bring it all, you can make them shiny probably. I'm so wet. I'm so shiny. <laughs> he looks like a plastic doll. Got 14. He's good. That's, that's fine. Hate messing with eyes and nose. You could really mess shit up. You mess with this stuff, you're you're asking for a world of hurt. I've tried doing this before. It's this is complicated. I never try to tackle nose, ears, cheek, mouth. I can adjust some things, but I'm pretty happy overall with the facial features. Eye color, I'm gonna blow out. I don't know if I'm um, definitely the hairdo. I'll probably change. Not a big fan of scars, because they're so cliche. But, as long as I make it, we're fine. Root color and tips? Wow. I didn't have to do that. So you can go red. Yep, blend it up in. Sheen. Oh, God. That's a hard one. I don't know what Sheen is. Let's see. Okay. 
Holy mackerel. I'm Captain Picard. <laughs> <laughs> The hair is the best. That's the funniest part to do. <sighs> you got popcorn hair. <laughs> Burnt. <laughs> Burnt popcorn. <laughs> Daenerys, mother of dragons. <laughs> Man of Dragons. That's a good one. <laughs> Got our anime. Oh my gosh. That's not bad. 55? Edna Mode. It's it's Edna Mold. We Edna from Incredibles. Bald's not bad either. I got another scar? Where'd that one come from? Go as Elvis. I ain't nothing but a hand dog. No, I don't feel like getting slapped by Will Smith. No Jada Pink for me. Mm, no. Fourteen's not bad. That makes me look like Magneto. No, 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 no. Ruxman. Yeah, that's like Magneto. Dude, I'm digging fourteen. Intelligent but strong, leader, commander, kind of look. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen's the winner. That's a cool blend. Short. It's not my thing, but that blends well. We back to popcorn? No, we haven't come around back to my haircut. Wait, is that it? Yeah, that's my old haircut. 26? Yep, card. I think we found a winner. We almost ran out of hairstyles. Holy shit, went through like 100 of them. 56 of them. Only, only a couple I liked. Yes, right there. That's the look. It's the Magneto look. All oh, X Men. Yeah, dude, I'm digging that. If I had any facial hair, it would really blow it out of style. But let's take a look. See what it see what it does. Uh, we're on one. Okay. Man, that adds that's like that's like a magneto in, in the future look. All the beards look good. Not that one. That's garbage. Yeah, not that one. Oh no, he's like Zorro. <laughs> magneto Zorro. <laughs> Doctor Strange? They really did Doctor Strange? That's funny. Oh, they did Wolverine. Are they kidding me? He does kind of look like a Wolverine with that now. I went from Magneto to Wolverine. Put a little white in there, you know? That wouldn't be bad.
feel like it needs to be let's try this 12 and 28 I feel like it needs to be more like something like that and then you bring down oh, up as much as you can the black See how it comes off the ear? It's still too light though. And then it goes down into the cheekbone. Doing the reverse. I just feel like it's too dark still. It just needs. Maybe I'm being stupid. Maybe I'm being stupid. It's just not bright. It's not as white as the hair is white. That's what's really making me upset. Like, really? This amazing customizer. And we're gonna go with gray. Even if I do tip blend down. Okay, I got it. Let's do this then. Fine, fuck it. About 12, 12. Perfect 50 50 blend then. And it still won't go pure white. Not playing Red Dead. Shang Fu Wizard. The Great Ape. No, you're not a Viking. You're not a dwarf from the Hobbit. I don't like the neck stubble though. I like the beard, I don't like the neck stubble. I think we might go clean. I was really digging the chops. Just looks too gray. See? It's gray. This will go better with the outfits. Because then I'll go white, black, and then the white and black will go with anything. Eye color here is gonna be popping. Because that's what I'm gonna do, that's why I'm doing the hair white, so when you look at my face, the eyes, the eyes are gonna pop. Okay. Whoa, look at the in-depthness. What? What? What are you doing? Alright, we'll try your preset. People don't know how to blend colors. Wow, they really made this too detailed, but they have a thing here where you can Those white inners, red outer, the green is probably what I want. There you go. Oh, there we go, buddy. Wow, look at the detail you could do. I could do inner ring, outer ring, pupil ring. So you can do like a highlight, like um, an outer glow, inner gl match your outer glow, inner glow, and then that mid you want to have match that see how it changes oh. wow 
wow, they really outdid themselves on this one. Way too detailed. Green? Okay, so 108 is just the classic white. Yeah, I'm just gonna go classic white. You you could do the black. <sighs> but that really makes your character look... You gotta nail that. Or you look like you just got dots in your eyes. And that's what I look like. Look at that angle. That doesn't look good. That's not good. So we gotta we gotta fix that. I'll probably just go classic white. Ice blue to white. And then highlight of ice green. That aqua. It's subtle. But you can tell they're ice blue. Like a pearl crystal. Crystal pearl. Yeah, I would definitely tell people to go online because this is this is do the presets if you don't know what you're doing. Pupil size is fine. Iris size, I could probably go a little bigger, but seems like the game sets it up pretty well for the iris. Yeah, I'll do the. Gonna probably go ice blue. So why not eyeliner? Not eye eyelashes. You could go root tip. Where is it? Nah, that over highlights the eyes. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That will mess everything up. Where's my eyebrows? I'm fine with that. I already got eyeliner nine on. Definitely want some on. Yeah, black is the way to go. Oh, okay, opacity we'll was. Yep. Definitely want to highlight them black. 100%. Look at that. Even from that side look. Because of the black hair. Definitely define the brow. I might have gone a little too heavy. Pull it back just a bit. I already had it pretty good. Brow. Looking at the eyes. Look at the crow's feet. All right, not bad. Eyeliner metallic? What is this? Let's play with it. I don't see it. What you talking about, Willis? I guess it has a little bit more gray on his eyelid. Oh, hold on. We'll see. Let's do that. Oh, there it is. Not bad. Add a little bit of metallic in there. Put some shine. She shine? That she shine door? Bastard. 
Yeah, because you want to add. I'd want to add sheen because my eyes are glossy ice, so it doesn't look funky. That is like I got greasy eyebrows. Kind of with that slick back hair look. Wish I had some grease in my hair. My hair looks so like wiggy and just like pieces of string. Yeah, a little sheen. Sheen in the eyes worked. That's pretty cool. No freckles. We're not messing with cheats. Oh, the lips. I don't even know if I even want to go in here. Shit can get all fucked up. This could get all messed up. Ready? We can go from Magneto to Cher real quick. Oh, God. Spread's already 100%. Let's go full opacity. All go. Metallic. It's so bad. Yeah, we're not messing with this. Getting out of here. Oh. Looks so weird. Why would I want to take any away? <laughs> Holy cow. Dirt. I don't even know what I'm doing with those. Oh, I think I found the scar. Yes. And get rid of it. I don't want it. They're so cliche. There we go. Scars are so cliche. I gotta earn my scars. It tells a story about the guy. Whoa, okay. Uh, let's edit. I don't know what that is. Holy cow. Okay, I see what we can do. We can move the position of these. I don't even know if I even like any of them. Man, I wonder if I can put those pigs more under my armpits. <laughs> um... What are my options? They give you a lot of options, don't they? Rotation scale. Vertical horizontal scale. So. Uh huh. Alright, we almost got him under the armpits. And then we need vertical positioning. Oh boy. We got the pig pits. All right, they're not centered. There we go. Should we get the pig sucking on the nipples? <laughs> okay. And then that's horizontal scale. 
Come on, pucker up. And then we want vertical boosting. Boom. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. Sucking pig nipples. <laughs> Yo, I'm digging that. All right, see if they have anything good. 60 some to choose from. That's not a bad amount. Why are they all like ink paintings? I guess that's the style that they're going with in this game. It's like little kids. This is like something that'd be on like the house wall. Oh yeah, my kid came up with this. Yeah. It's modeled after the backseat of my car. <laughs> That's not bad. A little tribal, a little leafy. Come on in. Snakes. Now. Hey, Dragon's Dogma. We could just do dragons. <laughs> There's my pigs. Uh, don't know if I'm digging an arm tattoo here. Let me play with this one. Oh, that's bogus. They don't let you up in the shoulder. It just, like, disappears. Not digging that. I think I'm just gonna stick with these. Unless they have like a, a back tattoo. Dirt, body, legs, tattoo presets. Oh, they already throw one on your body, got it. No.
There we go. Alright, I got that back. Whatever. I'm getting out of here. Alright, I think that's my guy. Definitely gonna get him better gear. Find the light. Oh, alt. There we go. Oh, and here we go. It can be changed later. That's good. I was a mage in Dragon's Dogma 1, so I think I'm going to... I really like Capcom's Monster Hunter games, so I think I'm going to be more hands-on with the attacks, and then let my... I'm going to see how the AI is, because this is a companion-based game. The creator didn't want to make it multiplayer, so I want to see if my archer, my mage my thief can really do and back up somebody who's playing basic so it's gonna kind of suck i'm gonna be playing basic attack attack this that this that but then oh yeah you roll the die i'm gonna see how the ai works out with the archer and mage because i'm really gonna be de dependent on the mage's ai to make sure they proc stuff instead of me becoming the mage and i could proc all the spells at certain speeds and paces maybe the ai wouldn't i'd hate for the ai mage but again this is a companion based game i don't think it's gonna leave you hanging knock on wood so i'm gonna go fighter You can call me 
Go, go. <laughs> Chad. I don't want to be no Chad. I don't want to be Chad. There you go, Chris. You <laughs> got yours in there. <laughs> they straight up just call you the shadow. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I know. Did you notice the Capcom stuff in here? I did too. That's funny. Caesar the Sheba. Shinobi. Sid. I think I'm gonna go with Sid. Caesar Sid. I think that would be good. Nah, oh, silver. Because of the hair. There it is. S Caesar Silver. Boom. Beautiful. Given the option of existing data, which I will, and allow you to import the appearance into the version. Awesome. All right. Nice. That wasn't too bad. That was a short little stream today. Appreciate everybody showing up or watching the video. Once the game comes out, we'll be transferring this character over and we'll be testing this guy out. Obviously, there's much more to come and uh, we'll see you there. So join me on my Dra Dragon's Dogma 2 streams when I start doing them in the mornings and I appreciate you all watching. Take care. Thank you.